YouTube, Daniel here, just on the um, front facing camera on my iPhone 5, I've got it on a kind of a tripod, and we'll just angle it up to see what I'm doing, actually, um, just uh, putting some water in the filter the jug, then I'm going to boil the water and put some pasta on to have with my lunch. I suppose that this is not too exciting. Isn't there? I mean, you got a bit of water to boil and um, probably should wash the, um, what do you call it? Strainer? So I'll need the uh, pasta, but um, so I'm using a microwave uh, pasta cooking little Piece of Tupperware and just get my pasta from the cupboard. My uh, cooked pasta and rice. Actually, uh, I have some of this really nice pasta. It's actually rice pasta and tapioca flour. Like, you know, they, so they make it. It's got really good flavour. It's got terrible smell when it cooks, though. But you know, it's, it's like rice in a way. If you know if you open the rice lid after a time, that's gone. And I put two kind of rice cups about that size in. Sorry about the noise. Second one. Put it down for a sec, get a bit of salt. I've got a big thing of salt, which I just grab a bit because I strained it anyway. And the water's filtered through, so I'll put it in the jug and let it heat up. So I watch it boil. This down there. Can you see the kettle? Can't really see it, can you? There you go. Can you see the kettle now? It's not that exciting, but you know, better than nothing. Okay, I'll, um, I think I'll wash the strainer and do a little bit of washing just while I'm in the kitchen. I'll do that. And, um, uh, Makes good use of your time. You know, probably get a bit loud, the kettle, so it's boiling. A bit more slow. You wonder why I was running it a bit, the tap, because um, the pot I'm going to wash next, I was letting the water get hot or warm in it. Because cold water, the soap doesn't I know, work as well. Lather up, I suppose. And the water's going into the jug on the, the um, pot and the dish, the dish. <laughs> wash next. Alright, so this is what I wash next. I'll tip that water into something else. And then I'll save it up and anoint it. You see the water's uh, boiling. Ready. Because I'll cook that pasta and I'll let it sit for like 15 20 minutes, mix it, expand, and dissolve some more water. And it's really nice after it's sat for that amount of time. I don't know how. <laughs> this as long as I can wait for what I want to eat. But it, it, no, I put boiling water in and I cook it for about 4 or 5 minutes. And, um, whoa. boiling pretty much straight away that I just let it sit for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. You see the water's obviously ready. So I'll uh, rinse my hands off and I'll pull that water into the jug. It's really hungry. So it's going to take, you know, the pasta a while to cook. But 
15 minutes or so. Anyway, I shouldn't talk for too long. I'll put this on and I've got a with uh, Jesse in the lounge room. Finish this talk off one take video I'm doing. So I'm putting the water in. So if we do it too long, the phone will fill up again like it did yesterday. Okay, let's stir that round a bit. Okay, we'll go to the lounge room and we'll see Jesse and play with a bit of ball. As you'll be able to see in a minute, she's sitting on the couch like a good girl, aren't you, Jess? Okay, put this um, tripod over here. You left a comment on my last video. Nice to see you well, and we'll play poker sometime. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Um, maybe uh, leading up to Christmas or after Christmas. It's getting busy, so I've got to probably organise presents and things. A few more presents still to get. How about you? Do you buy many presents? Down there, leave me some comments and let me know. Uh, what do you do for Christmas? Uh, to celebrate Christmas. So Christmas Eve we go to my fiance's parents' house and we have dinner and do presents and all that stuff. Christmas lunch is at my parents' house and um, yeah dinner would be just like here. Yeah, we don't really we don't really eat much because it's pretty full. But my um, fiance might go to her parents' house again. I might go with her, I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. You know, spend a bit of time with Jessie. Don't not good leaving her. I would probably leave her home, maybe on Christmas Eve and uh, Christmas Day. She'll have a bit of time where she's alone because we'll be just uh, down at my parents' place. There we go. Anyway, let me know how what you do for Christmas in the comments, and that will that will do for now. This is Daniel and Jesse signing out in Melbourne, Australia. Very nice sunny day today. I'll show you at the window. Better stop this video. It's going to end soon. Whoa. Check that out. Pretty nice, huh? All right. See you later.